After nearly 11 hours of deliberations, a jury made up of people from Pinellas County determined that Casey Anthony did not kill her daughter Kaylee. Here's a look at the verdicts. The Orlando mother was found not guilty of three major charges, including first-degree murder, aggravated child abuse, and aggravated manslaughter. She was convicted of four counts of providing false information, though, to law enforcement And joining officers. us now, defense attorney Roger Futerman, to answer just a few questions about what jurors may have been thinking as we watch this trial unfold. First of all, you were a little bit surprised with the verdict, primarily because the defense really didn't deliver on what they said in their opening statements. I was very surprised at the verdict. Um, I thought it was a strong circumstantial case for the prosecution. And when the defense made those statements in the opening statement and really didn't deliver on their theory of the case. About uh, the drowning. About the drowning. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised. Very surprised about that. Okay, also you said we were speaking earlier about the appeal that attorneys can have when they're actually speaking to the jurors. And you said you saw evidence of that uh, in the closing, in the closing arguments. One thing that I noticed is when Mr. Baez introduced himself to the jury and said good morning or good afternoon, I think it was. Very strong reaction. I could hear on the television the whole jury saying good morning. Mm -hmm. Back. When the prosecution gave that same introduction. I didn't hear anything, which is a little surprising, and maybe that was a tip-off that. If that one? happens when you're trying a case, do you feel pretty good about yourself when the jury gives you that kind of uh, reaction back? It's strange. You, you never know. You could look mm -hmm. in the closing argument of the jurors, and they could be smiling at you, and uh, they could not be going away, or vice versa. So it's very hard to predict. But obviously in this case, when I heard the jury so warmly greet Mr. Baez, it seemed like that was an indication of maybe they were leaning his way. Okay, um, you know, we, we've talked uh, also about the sentencing that she already has. You know, she's already, it could be four years for the four misdemeanors. She's already served. Time served is three. What do you anticipate? Again, it, it's a total guess on my part. I've been wrong on my main predictions. But if I was guesstimating, I think the judge will run each misdemeanor consecutive and give her four years with the credit she's been in. Because, as you mentioned on some of our earlier newscasts, you were expecting a, a second-degree murder I was, charge. I was predicting a conviction of the major felony to some degree, and I anticipated a second-degree murder. Well, I think there are a lot of people who were surprised by this verdict today. And, of course, we're going to continue to hear more about this. TBO.com buzzing with comments on the verdict. More than 100 posts. Post and more coming in every minute.